Hi guys, welcome to this high score run of the Paramedium. I'm using Straker Titan, bottom tree of the subclass. I'm using a primary shotgun. You can use you can use any one you want. I'm using threat level. Uh, I'm using subtle calamity and Thunderlord, and I'm using the Syntheseps. As as usual, my armor has uh, machine gun reserves. I have five score modifier with 110 power handicap. We're using heavyweight. Uh, arc singe momentum and extinguish i am not using match game i wanted to test it to see how much score we could get without match game on now i'm using threat level which is the scourge of the past shotgun you can use perfect paradox it's it, the one i've got that's got practically identical perks to perfect paradox so that one will do fine and you, not having match game on allows us to play a little bit more aggressively because more so for the super usage you you don't have to worry about shields with the super usage so the idea if, if you guys don't know the idea behind bottom tree of the subclass is obviously Bungie done uh, a sandbox made a sandbox change and they affected tr uh, the the amount of super energy that trample uh, that shoulder charge uses within the Titans uh, super trample obviously gives you super energy back on melee on uh, super kills and the syntheseps increase melee damage so if you put all those together basically as long as you're shoulder charging which is classed as a melee you'll keep getting your super pack so you should be able to shoulder charge for days <laughs> And that's what's so fun about using this subclass, is you can pop your super and clear everything there. Now, I, I want, I want, somebody called me last week, Mr. Heavy Munitions, simply because I'm always going on about heavy usage. I, I, I am going to tell you guys, I am going to tell you guys to just watch out with, for your heavy ammo. But what I'm also going to say is if you use your super the same way that I'm going to use it, you will generate, I've got a heavy ammo finder on my mark, on my Titan mark. I I am going to generate a substantial amount of heavy with my super, so I'm, I'm kind of confident that I'll get my, my heavy back. So I am being a little bit more liberal with my heavy usage. I'm still, as you can see, when it, whenever I can, I am using my primary or energy weapons. Just to see if I get that additional. And I'm not being too attacking to the degree where I'm being reckless. I still think that even though, you know, shields aren't an issue. It just means now that we don't have to, you know, worry when we're in my supper about what shields are in front of us. That was That's the idea behind it. So as you can see, I've took down his, his shield. And the reason I would say using Perfect Paradox if you don't have threat level is you do want a primary shotgun. That's why I never mentioned Dust Rock Blues. Or you can use Dust Rock Blues, but you want uh, automatic. That's what you want. You want a rapid fire shotgun. So still changing, still getting heavy, and it just allows me that freedom, as I said before, to be more liberal with the heavy so you want to keep your super for the the not for this first room of, of big ads big room of ads <laughs> they're not it's not a room of big ads and basically we're going to clear the whole room with one super now i have been messing about with this super since it came out i think it's the first time i've used it in, in a nightfall run and it just seemed with the 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 length of the the paramedium and how many ads there are that this would be, this super would be perfect so i've popped it on the first enemy and now i will just shoulder charge everything as you can see i'm dropping i'm dropping heavy i'm getting my health back on kills and my my super bar is staying at full you know you you pretty are you you pretty much are invulnerable you know, I'm moving about as well. It's just so much fun. I don't know how it... You guys can tell me in the comment section how it translates on screen. 
because obviously it, it, it looks good to me because I can remember doing it and how it felt. So it's just so efficient. You know, you're not using... I mean, there's pl been plenty of runs I've done on, on solo nightfalls where I've, I've burnt through a fair amount of ammo in these sections uh, and I've had my super the whole time. Because of, because of match game, I was unable to use my super because match game just, you know, affected the fact that I couldn't I couldn't pop supers because the shields didn't match. Taking off match game now that we're at the, the, those levels. I'm not gonna say it makes the nightfall easy. I think it just makes it fun because you can, you know. You can mix up what you're actually using a lot more. Now, I always work by the mantra when I'm doing my runs of 10,000 points a minute. Well, there were 20,000 points in front of that. And that is simply because of that super. So now we're going to keep the super till the last room of ads. You know, we, 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 we can be more liberal with the heavy so we can clear out the waves faster. You know, there's no... Still have to watch out your positioning and what have you. But uh, you can be just that little bit more, as you can see, a little bit more liberal with the ads. Still, still going to break his shield just because even though match game's off, shields still eat ammunition. You know, it doesn't matter. I, can, I don't have to try and, I can try and spray these because that, that lightning effect you get from the Thunderlord is great for ad clearance. But this is where it really comes into its own. That was a solar shielded captain. If I'd have, if I'd have had match game on and with the setup I've got, this, this might have been a wipe. So, put a grenade down on the first spawn in. Take out the, the first captain. Very, very straightforward. You know, you can push just that little bit more with this setup. Take down the goblin that's shielding him. And he's gone. Now that we, we do have a couple of these little uh, scions. But uh, the synthesepts, obviously, they're perfect. And the melee for this, this subclass, it gives you a chance to get it back. You know, and it's, it's just... Titan gets a lot of a lot of stick, I think. Oh, Titans just punch. Titans just punch. You know, hunters just crouch with shotguns behind walls and warlocks. The Titan is basically a moving tank. This is the way the Titan should be used. You know, this is what the Titan is 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 built for doing. You know, I can understand the salt behind it, but uh, if it's for shoulder charge, I'll tell you, I've got a friend. Who uh, will probably watch this video? Who was wasn't enjoying Crucible? Thought that the way that Crucible had changed was it just it wasn't fun for him anymore. Forget about all the sweaties and the tryhards. Oh, people using Lunars, people using this. The fun had gone out of it. Shoulder when when I told him about Skullfort and just put him forward, but just put him, clued him up about Skullfort and Shoulder Charge. He messaged me about two weeks ago. Thank me for that little bit of a, I mean, I never made the game, but he thanked me for that, for, for cluing him up on that. Because Crucible's now fun for him. The ability to shoulder charge and, you know, that's his way of counteracting all you Lunars and all you Not Forgotten's. If it works for him, I'm fine. I, I don't I, I don't get too much involved. I've, I've, spoke, I've spoke with a number of people about the, the Lunar and Not Forgotten. If you take the time to get Lunars, which I don't believe Lunar should have the same sort of perks as Not Forgotten, but I think there should be a massive difference because it's considerably easier to get Lunars than it is Not Forgotten. We will resume this conversation in two seconds. Once you come into this room, take down the snipers and then go pop your super. And then proceed to take out everything. You can, you can attack... All the ads, just the only thing I would say is, so you can you know you've got those cyclopses at the side. Don't worry about them. 
just do not worry about them. Just go for the ads. You'll be getting your health back. But unfortunately, I thought this was just a minute or till I got up here and realised he was the wanted. So leave him alone. You won't take him out. You won't take him out with that super, not like that. So I, now I've just went back to looking for, now I'm looking because I, I used up a lot of super energy on that and never got any back. I'm looking now for just red bars. So we'll still be able to take out just about every ad in this room, even though we messed up at the start. As you can see, generating, just keep generating your, your super. And that's us. I think we'll take these last couple out here. And I think there's only like a couple of ads left. And we'll move back. We never activated any confluxes. And there's only a handful of enemies left. Got heavy on the floor. So again, I can go more liberal with the, with the heavy. So what I was saying when we came into this room was I was I was about to go into the Luna the Luna Not Forgotten argument. All I'll say about it, because it's not really anything to do with this, but what I will say is if you've ground out Not Forgotten, you should be able to use it. Wherever you want to use it. Luna shouldn't be as powerful because I mean you just see the post, we'll carry you, Lunas, we'll carry you. If you can't get Lunas, then fine, but I think that isn't that supposed to be the point of the weapon? You know, I think a lot of things in in the community get lost in translation. I, I, not not so much lost in translation, but the sentiment of them goes because everybody thinks they should be able to have everything. You know, I couldn't follow your nightfall guide because, you know, I've took people through nightfalls. Personally, took them through that really weren't capable of doing nightfalls. I've took people through whisper who never got out of the lost sector because they can't jump. You know, I'm not saying that you, you don't deserve the weapon, but yeah, it's great that there's people like me and other people that exist to help, you know, but not everybody's got that help. And I think, I think the more, most people that moan about Lunars are people that don't have it. That's just my opinion. It's a weapon. It's there to be ground for. If, if you get it or a friend helps you get it, then... Should it just be locked competitive? I don't think so. I just think Lunars shouldn't be as powerful as Not Forgotten. I think it should be almost like a different weapon. Not Forgotten should be like kind of what it is. And Luna should be a little bit less. It's easier to get Lunars. So I don't think it should be so pinnacle. It's not easy to get it. It's just easier. So. No idea why we were talking about that. Now that we've come down to this bottom room. Something I probably haven't mentioned in the in, in the the video is I've actually put Tauron Barricade instead of Rally Barricade on. I, I felt like we didn't need Rally, but I felt like Tauron would help us here. Just because the boss's void void uh, attack, his fire, is still fire. It's still burn you. You know, it, it, we, it, you can be more attacking, but you still have to be careful. So we're just going to put a little grenade down there just see what it can do and it, it done quite a bit but it allowed us to activate that plate and then move across here now i backed backed up too much and the boss managed to you know get a bead on me with his with his fire you know i should have been here the whole time this is where you are the boss should just be able to, you should be able to see the boss's head but not his gun and then you're safe and we'll put a bit more on him and then we'll move to the next side. Now, even though we were red bar there, because he's moving, it gives us time to generate our, our health back. And I should have reloaded because I had a moment here. You know, there, that's the moment. So make sure you're always reloading. But we had the super, and it probably is the right place to use it is on these two plates. So even though i done that out of reflex, it was probably the right place to do it. So we're just going to go with that. <laughs> when you get your super, once you've activated the first plate, uh, pop your super and clear out the ads. You can clear both plates out very safely. As you can see, we've got... Now, I don't know if you noticed, he's been sniping me and he takes like 5 to 10% of my health. 
because you've got so much armor in the supers now. So we'll reload by heavy. He's going to move to the back. We'll put a bit on him at the back, get him to move to the middle. We'll put a grenade on him. We'll jump behind this pillar that's behind us and reload just so we've got enough. So put the grenade on him and then we'll just melt him. And that's the run. 180, 188,000. That's a pretty good, that's pretty good for not having match game on. 188,000. There's more points to be had here, but I'm very happy with that points, points haul. And it was probably the most fun I've had in a nightfall in a long time. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership, as always. I've got one more video to come up, which is the... I've done done a Warlock run of Tree of Probabilities. And then I'll probably be dark for a week because my partner was going in on Thursday to have our baby. So, until I speak to you again, guys, take it easy, stay safe, and thanks for watching.